So uh, this hurts me. I don't know why. I mean, I've always loved that area, the Bay Area, Monterey, uh, Big Sur, Carmel, North Marin County, San Rafael, Mendocino. I just, I just think it's a tremendous part of America. I love going there. Weather's great. So much to do. Food is good. Well, San Francisco is done. It's like CNN. They're done. So the Chamber of Commerce of the city, they're worried because they're not booking conventions. Uh, people are leaving. Their tax base is crumbling. Crime is everywhere. Homeless have taken over. So they do a poll. All right, it's an Internet poll. Um, about 520 San Francisco residents, 44% of the 520, that's a small sample, so they intend to leave San Francisco in the next few years. 44%. And it's hard to leave your home. Okay? 70% believe the quality of life in San Francisco has drastically declined. And it has. 70%. And that's the most liberal town in the country. It's not like conservatives are angry. There are no conservatives. <laughs> Basically speaking, so uh, San Francisco, this is what happens when you put progressive leftists in charge. It's happened in Chicago. It's happened in New York City. So, I, you know, when I talk to people who are liberal and I say, again, I know a significant amount of liberal people, I, I put this forth. They never have an answer. Their only answer is I hate Trump. That's it. Or I hate Bush the Younger, when that was going on, the Iraq War, whatever it may be. I love Barack Obama. Okay. But it's a matter of administrating. It's a matter of doing your job. And the progressive left can't do its job because it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to solve the crime problem. It wouldn't even admit the crime problem is caused by young black males in drug gangs. They wouldn't even admit it. You know, it's like saying, if you have a vicious dog, oh, that dog's not vicious. No, 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 no. It's a chunk out of somebody's leg. But no, not vicious. Okay, now, one of the reasons that San Francisco is uh, falling apart, in addition to people leaving, and by the way, another stat, 650%, 650% um, exiting from 2019 to the end of 2020. All right, people leaving up 650%. One of the reasons is because San Francisco authorities in the city and county won't enforce a law. So they're breaking into cars, all right? Car break-ins up 700% in some parts of San Francisco, 700%. Fisherman's Wharf in Chinatown. Used to be those two were the safest. When I ran a car in San Francisco two years ago, at the counter, the guy said to me, don't park the car in the street. If you park the car in the street, it's going to break into the car, particularly if you have anything on the seats, but they'll break in just to look in the glove compartment. They'll smash the window and they'll break in. I said, well, is this every day? He goes, all of our cars are broken into. And I said, is there a reason? Because even if the cops catch the person, who breaks the window and, and goes into the car, they're not prosecuted. No charges. 